What is up, YouTube people? Kudu Malloy here coming at you with another exciting video. So this is another chapter in the carbon steel pan seasoning process. Okay, so what's going on? So if you saw the previous video, I basically prepped the pan. I washed it. I cleaned it. I dried it out. I put it on a burner. I basically cooked off uh, that gray kind of look. Uh, this pan's hot. I'll explain it to you in a second. But... I got this nice little like bluish color. So if you can see that, I got that nice little like bluish color right there, as you can see. Oh, there you go. Okay, so you see the nice bluish color. Uh, and then what I did was I let the pan sit for a few minutes, put it in the sink, hot water, washed it again. No soap this time, just hot water and a, uh, and a scouring pad. Uh, dried it off with a towel and I put it in a 200 degree oven. Uh, put it in the oven. Uh, just to kind of, for about five minutes to kind of reheat it back up to about 200 degrees or so. Took the oven, or took the pan out of the oven and now it's here. This is what you're seeing. So what I'm doing is I'm taking about this much coconut oil, literally like a dab of, this is Vita coconut oil, organic and raw. Uh, put a little bit of coconut oil uh, inside the pan. I, I've done everything already. But basically, I did it inside, on the bottom of the pan, underneath the pan, on the sides, all the handles, everything. Just coated the whole thing with a very thin, thin, super thin layer of coconut oil. Now what I want to do is, because there's that shine right there, I want to buff off the shine. So I'm not going to wash the pan. I just want to basically, you know, clean paper towel and just basically buff out the shine. So see now how most of that shine has gone from the previous you know, about five seconds ago when it was shiny. Uh, you know, same thing on this side. There's a little, sorry, it's kind of hard to see with the camera and all that. But uh, see how I got this little shine right there? I just want to just buff it quick and just kind of kind of rub away any excess or residual, uh, you know, excess oil that's on the pan. So the smoking point of coconut oil is 350 degrees. What I'm doing now is I'm preheating my oven to 450 uh, and it's 100 degrees higher than the smoking point. I just want to make sure I do this right, get a, get a high enough and hot enough temperature to basically polymerize the oil, which means once you bring the oil up to its smoking point, uh, and then beyond that, it turns into a polymer, and that's what gives you that nice nonstick coating. So uh, once the oven hits 450 degrees, I'm going to put the pan in, and bake it for one hour at 450 degrees. Then I'm gonna shut off the oven and let the pan sit in the oven for another give or take about two and a half hours just to make sure the oven comes back down to room temperature. Two and a half, three hours. Um, I, might, I might just go to three hours just regardless just to make sure that it's come back down to room temperature. Let me show you real quick what's going on in the oven. Um, wow, that's hot. Okay, so. The most of the pan's gonna go here, the handle's gonna go over there. Just as a precautionary backup, I've put two cookie sheet trays underneath to catch uh, any drops of oil that may come off the pan. But if I wipe this off with a towel the way I'm supposed to, ouch, that fucking hurt. Uh, if I wipe this off with a towel, um, it should not drip. And basically all that coconut oil is gonna turn into a polymer and that's what's gonna give me my nonstick coating. Uh, so let me go ahead, let me close this door first because it's getting hot. Okay, so. Um, just to recap again, uh, after you saw the first video and this second video, I applied the coconut oil. I'm now going to buff it off with a clean paper towel just to, just to buff off the shine, basically, you know, swipe up any residual, uh, oil spots or anything like that, just to make sure I've got a nice, super, super thin microscopic layer of oil on here. I'm going to stick that in my oven for 450 degrees upside down. So... It'll be, grab this. It'll be sitting in the oven like this, upside down. See all that nice bluing? Hopefully that bluing will become brown. Uh, and basically bake it for an hour at 450 degrees. Shut off the oven, let it sit for another three hours just to make sure it's come back down to room temperature. Uh, and I'll catch you on the next video where I'll show you what the results were. Thank you guys. Please like this channel. Please subscribe. And uh, I will catch you on the next one.